area with 51. Everything in the butterflies. Go get your man. And I feel like butterfly gonna recap this. So all y'all wanna know what happened, I'm gonna tell you what happened. He got smoked. You already know what it is, man. Salute to the subscribers. That notification gang, the clip will blow. I ain't talking fast. You're listening slow. Salute to every single one of y'all. If you respect the handle, subscribe to the channel. Salute to all 70,000 subscribers. I don't salute y'all enough, you know what I'm saying? Without y'all, there would be no us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's just get right into it. Um, Spit flow and get into it. Um, Gnome. Gnome 11. You know, I, I realized that there's a lot of people going back and forth about Gnome. Whether they like the card, whether they don't like the card. Things like that. Av, salute to Av and all that he's got going on. Av, who's actually on the card, said, I don't give a F who doesn't like the known card. Don't watch that shh. I bet they won't do that, though. And the funny thing was good, said, he dropped a blog that says, I don't like the gnome card. Sorry, I'm sorry, I don't like the gnome card. And these tweets was both on Twitter, like, back to back the other day. And when I seen that, I said, you know, um... Damn, I gotta talk about Gnome, you know what I'm saying? And everything that's going on on Gnome, you know what I mean? Like, if you don't get it, you'll get it. But anyway, uh, so what the thing is, you, I see the direction that is going in as far as the card goes. And I'll read out all the battles, whatever the case may be. And, you know, we can we can chop this fable. So you have Rum Nitty versus Geechee Gotti, $100,000 battle. Tay Rock versus Chilla Jones. T-Rex versus Easy. Av vs. Jada Nightwing, B Dot vs. DNA, Danny Myers vs. Real Sick, JC vs. Fonz, Mike P vs. Luke Castro, T Top vs. Swamp, Loso vs. Jerry West. Now that's a lot of battles, I'm not gonna lie. That's more battles than we normally see on a card, but I see that the newer guys are being pushed, you know what I'm saying? You got a Jerry West vs. a Loso, a Swamp is on there, a Luke Castro, a Fonz, a Real Sick. Uh, Jada Nightwing, you know what I mean? Easy to Black Captain is like one of the main events on the card. Um, Loso versus Jay West. Uh, and the thing is, I think a lot of people's thing is they're saying it's not a gnome. This is not a, they're like, these are not the big names. See, it's not a, it's not a gnome. But you got to realize that caffeine helped build a lot of these guys. So why wouldn't they spin the block and utilize the talent that they essentially help him build. They help build Loso. They help build Jerry West. They help build Swamp. They definitely help build Luke Castro. They help Defines won a tournament. Real Six come up was through there. Uh, you know, we seen Easy the Black Captain come up through there. Jada Nightwing came up. A lot of the cats that's on the joint is the ones who's been kind of like, you know, revitalized through this whole caffeine era. Good saying he don't like the card, but this card? probably cost as much as it does to book one of these big top top tier names like when you think of like a hitman or goods or lux or one of them they probably cost damn near what it cost to book this whole card i don't know what people's you know getting in all of that but you could probably get about five or six or seven mcs for what it takes to book goods you know what i'm saying so i know that goods historically because goods battled t-top on gnome that was the feeling you know what i'm saying you had uh different big battles like he he's looking at it like the night of main events is what it's called so it's like a lot of people calling this gnome legacy you know what i'm saying like this is a born legacy a lot of these battles would be considered born legacy style but you know it's people getting shots and it's people getting looks people not going not watch it that's the one thing that i will say regardless of how people may feel you're not going to not watch it you know what i'm saying i do not not like the card you know what i'm saying i don't hate the card do I love it? I'm not in love with it, but I don't hate it either. You know what I'm saying? I do feel like Loso uh, has been on a super come up. Loso been wilding as of late in all his battles. He been wigging. He been coming up. Uh, he did his thing versus Vixen. He did his thing in his last joint. So Loso be wigging. Jerry West has been wilding too. Jerry Loso, that's a crazy style clash. You know what I'm saying? You got Jerry West with the street shit. You got Loso able to break people down, able to utilize his bars and things like that. Uh, a Loso versus Jerry West is probably a battle that I would go with Loso 2-1 because Loso has this crazy ability to just break down opponents, use different similes, metaphors, and his style, his pen. That's the only thing that I got him, like Jerry West, over Jerry West is the pen. His energy is dope. His energy is dope. Both have dope energies. Both use, 
you know, different type of pockets of flows and things like that. But uh, Loso's pen is kind of what puts him uh, at the next level. T-Top vs. Swamp. Now, so T-Top vs. Swamp is unknown. And now people are saying they don't like known. But, but all year, niggas been saying that they wanted to see T-Top vs. Swamp. All year. Like, Swamp's come up has been crazy. And mad people have been saying, we want to see T-Top vs. Swamp. We want to see T-Top vs. Swamp. Now you got T-Top vs. Swamp and people complaining about the car. You know, you, 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 you can't. I can't make this shit up, you know what I'm saying? Like, no matter who you get on these cards, if they would have booked, like, all legends on here and had some big-ass card, people would still be complaining. So, at the end of the day, it doesn't really matter. T-Top versus Swamp, dope battle. Swamp has been trending upwards as of late. Even in his battle with uh, Geechee Gaia that he didn't win, he did good um, in his battle, his first battle of the tournament. He, he was fire in that joint versus Jerry West. T-Top has not been trending up he hasn't been trending down either but in this type of battle like swamp has a battle every now and then where he just surprises and he just that kevin samuels like that shit was i done bagged up more i done broke down more dimes than kevin Samuels. that's the only thing i keep thinking about when it comes to swamp but if he keeps coming with those type of innovative lines he could definitely be fire uh, T-Top versus Swamp. I honestly got the battle debatable on my mind right now. I don't got no clear winner. That's one that I got to see. Uh, Mike P versus Luke Castro. Uh, both have been doing their thing. You know what I'm saying? Like Mike P came up. Uh, he came back, battled against Real Sick. His pen is better than Luke Castro's, but Luke Castro got a crazy ass performance. They was promoting going back and forth with each other. Uh, that's a battle that's going to be dope to see. Uh, Mike P 2-1. Uh, JC versus Fonz. Uh, Fonz is like uh, second coming of a dope, phenomenal MC. He won the tournament. Uh, JC breaks down all these newer guys. Name them. He claims them. Every single one of them that gets thrown in front of him, he, he's been bodying these new guys. I could go through about five or six of them where it's name for name. Line for line for line, he's known to break these MCs down. But Fonz got a hell of a flow, and Fonz is able to really, like, get busy with people. Like, he's he really, really, really gets busy with folks. So... That's another good battle, you know what I'm saying? Like, this is the thing. I get it. Gnome, Big State, and then people are not saying that DNA said that there's going to be an actual crowd there. A crowd is going to have a lot of effect on these battles. Luke Castro in front of a crowd is going to hit. Like, that nigga is, he's definitely dope. He might, you might want, you might lean more towards him in front of a crowd. Because Luke Castro gets busy. Um, Fonz versus JC. Uh, I haven't seen Fonz in front of a big crowd before, but he's got punches. He's got haymakers. JC's dope. It's very hard to pick against JC. Fonz, if you're going to beat JC, you have to do it. You're going to have to do it. Like, JC got way too much clout for me to just jump out there and pick him against you. Uh, Real Sick versus Danny Myers. Real Sick's come up has been pretty fucking dope. Uh, I battled. Uh, he's been doing his thing, crushing opponents. He beat, beat, um, beat Magic, and he's beat a lot of other people. Like, he definitely does his thing in the ring. Danny Myers is just like a rocket right now. Danny Myers is flying through all the competition. He's wilding off folks. I don't know if he's lost a round this year. I know he's had a couple battles where, you know, he, I think he 30 to Arsenal. Yeah, he did 30 Arsenal. Uh, he's won his last couple joints. He was battling on small leagues, battling on big leagues. Danny Myers is kicking ass and taking names. This could potentially be one of the battles of the night. I do got Danny Myers winning because Danny Myers is just Danny Myers right now. And, um, you know, Luke, um, real sick is dope. Not taking nothing away from him, but when Danny Myers, he can get with the most street MC, he can get with the most technical, technical, lyrical, miracle MC. He can get with anybody. It doesn't matter who it is. You know what I'm saying? Like he, he's definitely able to jump in pockets of flows and break people down, use people flows and things like that. And that's gonna be a war though. It's gonna be a war. But I kind of got uh, Danny Myers with the two-one edge on that. Uh, B dot versus DNA. B dot is dope. He beat Shotgun Sugar in his last battle that I saw. Um, DNA battled Av that day. DNA was on some other shit in that Av battle. Like he was on some other mother shit. Um, <sighs> off top, if I flip a coin, it's kind of one of them battles where DNA got the advantage because DNA is able to break people down. He's able to use pockets of flows, and people, a lot of people pick against DNA. Uh, B dot is gonna have to be special. You know what I'm saying? Like he, if he's special in this battle. I could potentially see him getting it, but 
DNA is very hard to pick against. DNA, like he's a legend, he's legendary, he does legendary moves, he makes music, he's got flows, he's got bars. Um, like I said, just off top, I got DNA 2-1. Adverse Jaden Nightwing. The reason why we're here is to realize that we need to make moves towards the sun. As the equator opens, a mind will shift. People will feel like this man, Jada Nightwing, has such crazy talent. Like his last battle with Twerk was fire. I had him winning 2 1. That's just my personal opinion. Av, uh, Av and Jada Nightwing is going to be one of them ones. Like they are going to have a war. Like Av is super punchy. Uh, you know, he's got bars back to back to back to back. Haymakers and things like that, Jaden. And I, when he's so unorthodox, he can use a myriad of different flows, a plethora of different pockets. Like, he's one of them guys that you can't sleep on because you just don't know what you're going to get with Jaden Nightwing. And when Jaden Nightwing is in one of them bags, the Mad King, Axe King, Dad King, Sad King, like, he's going to be able to uh, use a lot of different flows. And him and Av... Kind of debatable battle going into it. I'm just saying there's a couple of these battles on this card that to me are heavily debatable going in. Av is going to have to be on some shit though. Like Av, you, you're kind of high up on this card. So you got to show up and bring your A game. That, that's what I will say. Um, I like both MCs. Av is dope. Jaden Nightwing is dope. Both some of my favorite, you know, guys that are out there doing this thing. Ah, uh, man. Super debatable. And it's T-Rex versus Easy to Block Captain. I'm going to just be honest with you, man. I got Easy to Block Captain 3-0. Rex hasn't done anything in quite a long time that even has me remotely close to thinking he's going to win. He's a good promoter. He talks good shit. They have good interviews. They can make battles happen. He makes good music, things like that. Him and Murder Mook just dropped a joint. I ain't really seen nobody react to it. I'm not reacting to none of their music because I'm not having nobody beg me to take it down. But in battles, Easy to Block Captain's been hot. Uh, we haven't seen him battle since before. Top tier came out, so you know he's well, no. He had a two on two at Rock. They was wilding with uh versus Geechee and um Swamp. I did have Geechee and Swamp winning that joint, but they was both definitely doing their thing. Uh, I'm pretty sure Easy the Black Cap is gonna be in a different bag for Rex because they've promoted it well. They've talked shit to each other. They went back and forth. Everything that you're supposed to do to build up a battle, they've done to make this one be what it's gonna be. Um, I'm sure the face-off is going to be crazy. I'm sure Rex is going to do numbers in the face-off. I'm sure everybody's going to be taking clips, making videos and shit like that. But the, everything, he has a total package with everything except the raps. You know what I'm saying? Like nowadays. Back in the days, yeah, hell yeah. Unstoppable. Monster. He was around when Mook wasn't around, when Lux wasn't around. Lux, Mook, Sirius Jones, oh my God. Besides all that, I'm the best nigga on this card. Like, you know, the shotgun shells is red and lime green. When I squeeze, I lead a Gucci crime scene. Like, niggas fuck with Rex's career. But to say that Easy to Block Captain is not the hottest, he's at the top of the card. He's at the top of the card. Easy to Block Captain is at the top of the card. He's the co main event with T Rex. Uh, I would have preferred to see him versus the chest, not gonna hold you. Uh, but it is what it is. I'm sure that battle will happen when it does. Um, Tay Rock versus Chilla Jones, I spoke about it the other day. In fr I did not know at that point in time it was going to be in front of a crowd. Now, in the little caffeine, caffeine room, I had Chilla Jones. I'm not going to lie. I, I, it is what it is. Rock my man, but I had Chilla Jones. I mean, it's just, it's bars. It's, it's fucking bars. It's bars. It's punches. It's haymakers. It's entendres. It's schemes. It's metaphors. It's just bars. Going back in front of that crowd, I got Rock winning this battle 2-1. I'm sorry. It is what it is. I'm sorry. This ain't no game like Atari. Rock ain't been in front of a crowd in almost two years. It's a different type of animal when you're battling in front of that big crowd. And in front of that big crowd, in front of that stage, in front of it with them, them shits hit a little bit different. It, it hits a little different. Geechee Gotti comes out when they in Philly and punches Rock straight in the mouth. You don't ride with your niggas. This nigga Rock comes out in the next two rounds to me and got Gucci Gotti. He that was a crazy battle to take the hit that he was gonna take, knowing that the fight situation had just happened. He was definitely gonna get punched in the mouth. That's the last type of big stage shit that I remember. You know what I'm saying? Um, so I, I 
mean, Chilla, Chilla still has a chance to win it if his bars connect and correlate with the crowd well. But uh, historically, rock in front of big crowds is is, is not a is not a bad bet. Uh, and last but not least, you got Gichi Gotti versus Rum Nitty, hundred thousand dollar battle. Um, in front of a big crowd, Gichi definitely has the the advantage. Um, he's better in front of big crowds. Uh, if it depends on how big it is, you know what I'm saying. The world is looking like it's opening back up, so it's probably gonna be some people there. Um, it, it, it probably Geechee has the advantage tournament-wise. He's pretty much been doing every single thing that you need to do in the tournament. Romney had a phenomenal performance versus Cortez. I mean, he stepped his shit all the way up. That that Romney bar-wise was the best bar-wise that I've seen in this tournament or fucking any any of these tournaments. Dude, I don't give a shit about whether it was Ultimate Madness one or two. That three round performance versus Cortez was the best shit that I seen. I'm just being honest with you. Like he went crazy versus Cortez. Oh, phenomenal battle. I honestly wish that they could just say, yo, we gonna put on a classic and split this shit 50-50, but I don't think that's gonna happen. Well, maybe them niggas could be like, you know what? We gonna split this bitch 30-30 and battle for 20. You know what I'm saying? Like, like no, battle 30-30 and battle for 40 or some shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? I would love that. But I don't think that's going to happen, you know what I'm saying? You get this close and you do that much work, you're going to want to get that whole bag. That's life-changing money, you know what I'm saying? $100,000, you could do a whole lot for your family with the joint. Um, but in, a, in front of a big crowd, it's really hard to pick against Gichi Gotti. I hope Rum, I, you know, this one's a toss-up for, for real, for real. May the best man win. You know who's going to, you know, I'm going to tell you who's going to win this battle. The person who wins. That's, I'm going to use a Rum Nitty. I'm going to use a Gigi Gotti answer. The person who wins, the person who gets the 100000 that's who's going to win. Y'all can tell me who y'all think is going to win. But I think the person who wins, the person who gets the most votes, the person who gets announced, the person who you see standing up there with the check, that's the winner. I do think the person who comes in second should get something, though. Like, it might not be a honey right, but they should definitely, for just making it this far, you should definitely get something. To leave empty-handed would be kind of crazy. Um, so, like I said, Goods and Av. They wasn't going at each other though. They was not going at each other because uh, Swamp replied to that Goods blog saying, and nobody liked chocolate leather cologne. Salute to Goods chocolate leather cologne. You know what I'm saying? Black business and all of that. But the MCs that are on the card was responding to the fact that Goods said he's sorry he didn't like the Gnome card. He had his reasoning for it, but you know, he's looking at it like Gnome is for the upper echelon, the top MCs, the bigger names. But when you book a lot of these bigger names, these niggas was not bringing it, and they cost a lot. These cats are not cheap, you know what I'm saying? No hate, but we, you, look at the Verbs' last performances before he left. It is what it is, you know what I'm saying? He don't got to like it, you know what I'm saying? He ain't got to love it, but I'm still going to thug it. Look at the last performances before he left. His couple, the last couple battles, he lost all of them. And, you know, and got mad at the people who talk about it, the people who recap. He got mad at everybody who recap the battles. But he lost every one, and damn near every round. Lost all the rounds to Rock, lost all the rounds to Hustle. I'm just saying, it is what it is. I don't want to get, get into all of that. Hopefully he's doing good in whatever he got going on. But these guys cost way too much. Why would I, as a businessman, why am I going to pay 10, 15, whatever these guys cost, just for them to come on stage and brag about it? You know, I made more than every other nigga on this card, and then show up with some bullshit. You know what I mean? Like, if you're going to do that, you might as well not even book it. So I, I understand why they're going in the direction that they're going in. They don't spend a year and a half building up all these names, putting them on two-on-twos, putting them in tournaments, not to put them on bigger cars. You're going to see a lot of new names on Gnome. You're going to see a lot of new names on Summer Madness. You're going to see a lot of new names on all these goddamn events because it's way cheaper to book five or six of them than it is to book y'all. Now that class that was before y'all, they booking the new dudes over them, over the uh, Riders, Louisies, and all of them guys. They not even on, none of them ain't on this card. That whole class is not really on this card. Twerk was in that class. I mean, he's not on known, but it's for obvious reasons, you know what I'm saying? Like, his last couple joints been stale. So, I mean, they not, they, they pretty much are surpassing a class. Y'all could call it what you want, but if you look at that whole class, all them niggas in there, they don't got to like this. They've pretty much been surpassed, and they're pushing the new group. The newer guys are getting the look. The newer guys are getting pushed and promoted because they, 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 they promote well. They battle well. A lot of them ain't really getting killed like that. So if you don't get killed, that's, that's, a, that's a good look for you. 
uh, they promote well, they battle well, uh, you know, they're bringing their A game. A Swamp was kind of in that, the Ace Amin and all of them. And this is a card that I wouldn't have been surprised if I saw Ace Amin. I really would, I wouldn't have been surprised if Ace Amin did good in his last joint. But uh, overall, Av has his point, saying if you don't like it, don't watch it. Nobody's gonna not watch it. And Goods has his point coming from that older generation, like that gatekeeper generation type, but it's like, dog, you gotta realize that they built all these MCs for a reason. They not going they not gonna keep these niggas on the bench when the when the people that were starting is not is is, is underperforming. You know what I'm saying? Like they're gonna put the new guys in. Give them a shot. Shit is free anyway. So it's not like pay-per-view. You ain't gotta worry about ticket sales and pay-per-views and all of that. You ain't gotta worry about all that. You just put the new niggas in, give them a look. Shit, if if, if a couple gonna hit. A couple is gonna hit. Now I don't expect all ten of these new guys in the new class to be like the, the next generation wave and take over battle rap. No. But a couple are gonna hit. And those are the guys that you're gonna continue to build, continue to develop and shit like that. But overall, I like the card. Do I love it? No. But do I like it? Yeah, I like it. Give them guys a shot. You might as well give them a shot. The, the older cats that's getting on is not bringing the same game. These niggas don't do it. They don't, they don't be giving what it was supposed to give. It don't be hitting like that. So other than that, man, salute to every single one of y'all. You already know what it is. Game.